this short tutorial, we're going to uh, feed a, um, a GrowPro flask. Here I have one here, it's fairly dense. I, the density, um, it doesn't look as dense during the nighttime, and it's nighttime hours right now, and you'll see why we're filming at night, because we're gonna do a nighttime feeding of the GrowPro flask. And we're gonna feed for what's called uh, expansion feeding. So there's two types of feedings. Um, you can feed small amounts of dinonutrients, or Blue Boost dinonutrients, to just maintain the culture. Or if you're trying to grow into a bigger culture or a bigger container, um, there's what's called expansion feeding. And tonight we're going to do some expansion feeding using the Grow Pro flask. So we'll show you how that's done. And we're gonna do it in the dark because it's really cool to watch in the dark. So lights, hopefully the cameras are still on, and action. So we have our Grow Pro flask right here, as you can see. Happy, healthy dinoflagellates. Enough of them to expand, and, and what we're gonna be doing is diluting them um, about 50-50 uh, with dinonutrients, and then transferring the excess into a container. And this is my larger container. So I wanna start growing and making more dinoflagellates, and this is how you do it. So here's my container, I've already started adding to this container, you can see I have some dinoflagellates already growing in there, but I want to put more in there. And this is a good way to keep a robustly growing culture and expanding. So expansion feeding 101. We take our dinonutrients, make sure the cap's tight, make sure it's stored tight. We're gonna shake it, make sure it's mixed together. Uh, the dinonutrients is the same temperature as the culture, as the pyrodino culture in this grow pro flask and um, now it's ready to feed. So approximately, we're gonna add about the same amounts of dinonutrients that's in this flask, and you can watch it here. Pour it in there. Okay, that's about 50%. So we kind of doubled the volume there. It's gonna be hard to shake it now because We're gonna take that mixed culture and we're gonna pour it into our new culture to where we have basically the same original starting volume in our grow puff flask, like right here. So we have the same starting volume and we've just increased the volume of our new container. do this as much as we want and of course if you ever want to back off and not have more containers you can just go back to maintenance feeding which is adding small amounts on a weekly basis. So I hope you found that informative. Please leave any questions and comments in the uh, discussion se section below and please uh, subscribe if you're on YouTube right now please subscribe and see more videos uh, behind the scenes and how we uh, culture and best practices for pyrodinos and growing uh, dinoflagellates. Thank you.